Have you ever looked at a Docker Compose file and wondered why ports are specified twice separated by a colon? It can be confusing, right? Well, today we're gonna to break it down and explain exactly why that is. I totally get it. Seeing something like 8,000, 8,000 can leave you scratching your head. You're not alone in this confusion. Many people have asked the same question and it's a common point of curiosity in the Docker community. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user recently asked, why do we specify ports twice in Docker Compose files? They pointed out examples where ports are listed like 8000, 8000 and 8001, 5432. If you've ever wondered about this, you're in the right place. So what does this port representation mean? The first number before the colon represents the port on your host machine, while the second number after the colon represents the port on the container. This allows you to map different ports for different services, which is super useful. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip on how to manage your Docker ports effectively. To understand why ports are specified twice in Docker Compose, let's first break down the notation. The user should note that the first port number represents the host port, while the second port number represents the container port. In the example provided, the user sees the notation 8000, 8000. This means that port 8000 on the host machine is mapped to port 8000 on the container. This allows external access to the service running inside the container. Now, let's look at the second example where the user sees 8001, 5432. Here, port 8001 on the host is mapped to port 5432 on the container. This is useful when the user wants to expose a different port on the host for accessing a service running on a different port inside the container. This dual port specification allows for flexibility in managing services. The user can run multiple services on the same host without port conflicts by mapping them to different host ports. In summary, the user should remember that the first port is for the host and the second is for the container. This setup is essential for proper networking in Docker Compose. Fun fact, did you know that Docker was originally developed by Solomon Hikes as a way to simplify the deployment of applications? Now, it's a cornerstone of modern software development. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user explains that if you omit the host port when using Docker, like in the command docker run dp3000 my image, Docker will automatically assign a high numbered host port for you. You can see which port was assigned by running docker ps. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always check for port conflicts when mapping ports in Docker. It can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. Now you know why ports are specified twice in Docker Compose files. If you found this explanation helpful, make sure to subscribe for more insights and tips on Docker and other tech topics.